Okay, 11b on this. We've got a shape, and this time we've got to describe the single transformation which gets P onto Q. Now, this is three marks, so we need three bits of information here in order to get all three marks. And the first one is, well, it's obviously, to get from P to Q, it's obviously got bigger. It could get smaller either way. The technical term they're looking for is the word enlargement. So that would be worth one mark. To get the second mark, you have to tell me how much bigger it's got. Now this is quite easy. So it's scale factor. Well, it was two along the bottom. It's now one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's check the front was one, it's now three. And the back was three, and it's now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's gone up scale factor three. It's got three times bigger. That's two of the available marks. To get the third one, you have to tell me where the center of enlargement is. Now the center center of enlargement, well you, sometimes you can spot it and it's not always this middle point so don't just assume it's there. Now the best way to do that is to draw a series of lines and see where they cross. And they're called ray lines. So if I start from this front corner and I draw a line that goes through that corner if I draw from point to point, I think we can guess where it's going to be now. Let's just check. Oops. Let's take this last one up. Let's go through that last corner, and we can see all the corners go through the same point here. That must be our center of enlargement. So this bit here must be our center of enlargement. So for the last mark, You've just got to say that what you need is a center of enlargement. You've got to give the coordinates, and the coordinates are naught cross in the x direction, one up, no y direction, and that will be your third mark. You have to mention each bit in order to get the full three marks for this question. Type of transformation, size, and the center.